Hello and welcome. These are horse racing selections for Friday the 14th of October. I am Flat Cap Callum and I am hoping you are all very, very well. Coming up today, we have got a three bet video. £20 is our stake, so usual stake. Um, and first race on the selections is not until 3.50 at Fakenham. Certainly won't be everyone's first race of the day. Uh, it's a bit of a random one, but uh, yeah, that's where we're starting. So for those of you who, uh, who want to know, 3.50 Fakenham is the first race. Um, so on the video today, I'm going to aim to be nice and straightforward. I'm going to review um, the bets for Thursday and how we got on. Um, and then I'm going to go through uh, Friday's bets. And there is three bets on Friday, as I said, all lucky 15s. So 12 horses, there's nothing particularly complicated about it uh, for Friday selections. Um, I, I like Dundalk and I like Newcastle um, and it will be a permanent fixture. Uh, when I say permanent fixture, it's almost on every every Friday night together through the winter. Um, but yeah, I wasn't I wasn't massively jazzed about what I was finding at either meeting um, for Friday. So uh, yeah, I haven't gone big at all. So I've just kept it normal stake. So review of uh, Thursday's races. So we had 25 on for the channel and I have is 23.44 back. So if you're sky bet, it would be similar. That's what it should be around. Um, if you weren't sky bet, it'll be a bit less than that and I'll, I'll kind of go through it. Um, but yeah, it was it was an odd day really. Um, so the Brighton bet, I did flag regulate it might be an on-runner, but annoyingly they left it a bit late. So that was an on-runner, as was Street Parade. That took the bet down to three horses. Otago ran fourth, backed in, but that only paid out for Sky. Sonny Tina ran okay, but not enough to place. And then Barsh Benham was third at 16 to 1. So for Sky, with two non runners and two places at those prices, it was a very small profit on that bet. Um, but depending on when you put it on and with the non runners, um, you'll have got a different return. So no one's missed anything big, but I think the later you put that bet on, the, the less likely you were to get much back. Um, so it, it, for non-Sky Bet customers, it was one place. Um, and it depends on what non-runners you had. So a, yeah, a bit of a funny one, that one. Um, this was really quite disappointing. Um, that what didn't run so well. That ran with credit, but not well enough. And in that race, uh, an 80 to one shot unraced went and won. So uh, yeah, I wasn't on the right unraced horse there. Um, yeah, 80 to one winner. <laughs> yeah, I, I looked at it and it, it wouldn't. I wouldn't have picked it. Not for me on that. Uh, but uh, but well done to anyone who picked the 80 to one winner of that race out. Um, and then we got into the main chunk of the bets, and uh, and it really didn't go well. So we completely struck out there. Uh, nothing really got that close. I think eighth might have been the closest. Um, so yeah, it wasn't good and it wasn't, so it wasn't looking very good at all. Um, but fortunately my moment in time went and won very comfortably by over three lengths in a five furlong sprint handicap at the Curra, um, at 33 to one. And yeah, so if you were sky bet, you'd have got a bonus for the win single. Um, so you get a bit more back everybody else just in there. But how many times have you seen that on the, on the videos? Um, not having a good day, but then the biggest price of the day either wins or places, um, and the smaller ones don't. So that was the biggest price we had, and it went and won comfortably. Um, yes, just didn't have any singles on it. Would it would have helped a bit for the channel? Um, and then this bet was poor. Nothing, 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 and then a thirty-three to one winner. Um, yeah, rubbish. So twenty-five on twenty-three forty-four back. So I got it as a small loss. For the channel stats, we're down three quarters of a stake uh, this week, so down 15 quid. I think most people, if you're following like for like, are probably going to be more more likely 20 quid down. Um, so we're, we're a bit down and we're into our last evening video because I shall be back Saturday morning. So what should I say about today uh, for the racing for, for today or Friday selections? Um, yeah, it's funny. I, I thought I'd like more and I didn't uh, is a headline. Um, I've generally been very careful with Haydock I've only got one horse the ground is heavy I'm expecting some funny looking results at Haydock um, so I've only gone for one horse there um, and I'm not as gone as big at the evening as I might do on other days so um, oh and the other thing to flag is I'm not calling out 365 tonight as a, as, as a good bookmaker so tonight 
they are the worst price on quite a few of my selections. So I, what that tells you is Bet365 agree with me on quite a few of the selections. Whether me or Bet365 are right, who knows? But they are significantly shorter on some of the selections. So I'm not suggesting you use Bet365 tonight. It may look very different if you're putting the bets on in the morning. So we're starting the 350 Fakenham. Not everyone's race. It's a five five horse race. Um, the favourite is a shorty and has never run on the jumps. Decent flat horse. Um, I, El Muchacho has got a profile um, for, for jumps much, much better. Um, so six to one, basically, I think it's like second favourite. Um, yeah, I like that a lot more. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're putting El Muchacho in. Then 419 Red Car, Grey Bell, 18s. 508 um, Haydock, Rick Blaine, 14s. That's the Haydock horse. 520 Red Car, Contrast, 20s. 20p each way, Lucky 15. And then we've got an additional 50p each way double on the red car pair. That is bet one. That is £7. Then bet two is a Newcastle Lucky 15. There's some, there's some other races I've not kind of got into. And by channel standards, we've got we've got much smaller prices than what we we tend to do. Um, so this one, uh, yeah, a bit, bit smaller, but people get used to what I do so for, for a lot of people this might look like a, more like a normal bet I don't know but um, uh, yeah it's it's within the value thresholds I have for the channel um, so 445 freak out 15 to 2 545 Sandra 11 to 2 615 Mr Coco Bean 10s 815 Hurt You Never 9s 20p each way lucky 15 and we, we did it the other week we we're having a little 50p each way fourfold I was looking at kind of because I've got three lucky 15s, I had a couple of quid left over. I found my favourite double. And then rather than, than single anything, I just thought I'd rather... Because I, 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 some of the Dun Dort ones are a bit riskier. I, I put the, a fourfold on this. So 50p each way fourfold. Um, Sky are best for places. There are other bookies that are joint best for places. But Coral is next best after Sky on prices. So if you haven't got Sky doing it tonight, Coral are second best on this one so that's bet two and then yeah Dundalk sometimes I look at Dundalk and I find loads sometimes not a lot today was a not a lot kind of a day um, so I've got enough that I'm happy with a lucky 15 um, so we're having to go at a few prices here 5.30 Dundalk Eastern Racer 16s 7 o'clock uh, Leah Beland 20 to 1 7.30 <laughs> most people are going to walk past that horse based on the form but but I'm seeing something in it in Tijuana at 40 to 1 and then 8 o'clock one small step 8 to 1 um, most bookies are 4 across the board at Dundalk apart from this last race so the only benefit you're getting from Sky on this is that one so it's very very borderline I would say you're probably slightly better doing um, a bookie that pays bog like Paddy or Coral and um, because I think bog on the other three is is better than the extra place on that one. It will probably end up fourth, won't it now? And it will ruin the bet for a lot of people. But that, that's what I'm saying. I, I think on balance, you've got an extra place in that one. But I think the best price guaranteed might be more useful on the other three. So uh, it's 20p each way. Lucky 15. No extras on that one um, is the Dundalk bet. That is our £20 for the day. Simple as that. Leaving it there. Less than 10 minutes today. I shall be back on Saturday morning for uh, Ascot Champions Day. Uh, we've got a nice handicap. Um, there's some other interesting races. It's obviously the, the, the last run of Baid where clearly on this channel we'll have a look to see what we can take to have a, have a place against Baid. I don't think it's going to get beat. Um, I think it's the best horse, but you never know. We'll, we'll have a look to see what we can, we can have to place it and maybe upset. Um, but nine runners declared in that race, so that's looking like a good a, a good one to have a go at. All right, uh, that's me. Have a good Friday, um, and I will see you back Saturday morning, aiming to upload by 11 o'clock, I'd say, by 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. All right, thank you very much. Cheerio.